Good day, my little teacups. Um, welcome to probably what's going to be the start of something rather unusual. Right, so, quick update. I am ill at the moment. I've got my biannual hay fever is acting up. That means I get it once every couple of years, and it's usually in the March to April period. I forgot it's this year, so I'm a little bit wheezy. <coughs> poetic timing and um, also my nose is continuously bunged which means that it's a bit harder to do the OEM voice than I'd usually like so um, I also thought since I spent the entirety of the Dark Souls playthrough as OEM and Sultan Sanctuary is a quite similar game why not just do this one as me let's go let's go out on a complete weird limb and let's just do this one as me so here we go here is a boring man's let's play of Sultan Sanctuary Okay, we're going to start a new game because uh, I'm going to obviously need a, a new, slightly more fitting character. We're going to be the uh, under-Englishman, if I can remember how to spell. There we go. Uh, except... Now, I don't really know basically anything at all about this game. I, I know I've already played half an hour of it, but I, I know bugger all. Uh, also, for anyone who's wondering, why am I like... <laughs> pardon me. Why am I playing through this first bit and making a new character and whatnot and not just starting suddenly with a new character? Well, I'll explain why in a second. I don't re I didn't really look at the classes, but there's knight, mage, okay, paladin. Ooh, that is a lot of armor. Uh, thief. <laughs> no. To be honest, I'm rather looking at pauper. That, that is just straight up Indiana Jones. No, okay, we're going with Pauper. Because scraping together is just sort of my kind of idea. So, venture forth. And now I get to explain why I'm starting again. Okay, so remember that Cthulian horror that I faced in the first episode? It turns out you can actually fight that. And I kind of fancy doing that. Let's get this playthrough off to a fl flying start by fighting the unspeakable deep. Yeah. Pardon me, I got something in my throat. Oh. I'll be with you in a second, Mr. Monster. Okay, sorry about that. Now, I'll hopefully have cut out all the biological noises that I was making in oddness there. I'm going with the pitchfork today because I think that's a little bit more effective than... Uh, you know, uh, an axe and shield combo, really. I can just poke him from long distance. I am a Pokemon. Yes, indeed. Okay. Come on, come on. Bosh. I gotcha. Alrighty, dighty. Now, uh, if I recall right, this thing just flattened me. So we're going to take off pretty much all my clothes. Um, got a very convenient trident held in a censoring position. And let's just give this a go then, shall we? Oh, God. I have no idea what I'm doing. I've, I will confess, though, I've watched a couple of tutorials. Because I thought otherwise there was no way I'm going to do this. And it basically just said to keep rolling and hope for the best. So that is exactly what we're going for. Run away, run away, run away. Yeah. Why am I doing this, though? Well, uh... Mostly because I think this would be a nice flying start to the playthrough. And also, because apparently you get a nice bit of a reward if you do manage to tank this guy. And an achievement. So, might as well. Yeah, that was... Okay, okay, okay. Stamina management, dude. Stamina management. Basic stamina management. Okay. I I, can I just say again, though? I really do love the art style of this. Like, especially the way that things seem to be pretty much just a, a puppeteered portrait rather than... Ah. Ah. Yeah, I'm going to need to give this a few goes, aren't I? Okay. Uh. <laughs> I'll be back with you in, um, in a moment, guys. I just have some stuff I need to sort out with this gentleman. Okay, much, much fighting later. Finally killed the fucker. I must admit, I really like this pitchfork now. It's been about an hour. Um, I I just adore this pitchfork. So, um, 
Where do we go from here? I can't remember. I, I remember last time I spoke to this guy and I signed up to be like, a follower of the three. I think this time I'm going to sign up to be a follower of someone different. Hang on. Well, hello there. You're just a fleshy bit of flotsam. Washed ashore with the rest of us. Hmm? You want shelter, you want sanctuary. But what is a sanctuary without faith? Bloody blah, 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 blah. I said this all in the first episode. Yes. Most men follow the three deities. The king, the knight, and the judge. The king lends blah, blah, blah. You follow the three? No. What was your creed then? Okay, we're going to go with iron ones today. I don't know why, I just feel like it. Men from the mountains of northern continent Markdor are the iron ones. Really? My phone is going again? All right. For the seventh time, hoping that there's no more interruptions. Ahem. 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 They believe in no gods, believing instead in the iron will of man. They love steel, but hate magic. Are you a member of the Iron Ones, then? Yes. Yes, indeed I am. You're a member of the Iron Ones, eh? No gods will help you here. Except this metal icon, then. Nice. All right. Okay. Oh, oh, I forgot about you guys. Right. Well, I will then catch up. I should probably put some clothes on, shouldn't I? Think about. There we go. Okay, I'll catch up with you guys after I've killed the Sultan Knight that I did in the first episode. Back in a bit. Actually, I just realized I should probably level up, shouldn't I? Ascend to level... Ooh. Ooh, baby, I can level up to 12 in one go. Okay, we're going to do exactly that. No idea what's going to happen, but... Eleven black pearls. Uh-huh. So we get a black pearl per level is what I'm assuming. Tree of skill. Never really looked at this first time around. Gain an additional healing potion. Okay. Oh, so it's kind of like the sphere grid from Final Fantasy X. All right. Right. I'll be honest with you. I've no idea what I just did, but I've brought myself up to a nice round nine strength, eight endurance and eight dexterity. Um, I looked at my pitchfork and it's got apparently an S scaling in both so I'm kind of just keeping with a, a balanced what what in Dark Souls I guess would be a quality build and a bit of endurance to match up alrighty also I'm not wearing a shirt because I found I roll a hell of a lot better without a shirt on so for now shirtless let's go my idea in general is that I'm going to be a lot more focused on sort of hit and run strategies kind of like how one beats the um, unspeakable deep I didn't find blocking all that effective um, in the, <laughs> I, w I must say, didn't find it all that effective last time around as an OEM, so we're gonna, ha we're gonna have a little bit more of a go with this. And let's face it, if you've seen my Dark Souls, you'll know I'm not really one for blocking. What am I doing? There. Concentrate, dude, concentrate. There we go. There we go. Ah! It followed me out of the door. I wasn't expecting that. Bollocks. Right, Mr. Ratty. Come here. I'm going to poke you with a stick. There we go. So you rat, rat finky boo boo. Okay. Um, can I... I can't remember if I can jump up there. Can I jump on this barrel? No. Hold on, did I just get the rogue set of armor? Rogue's jacket. Oh, that is a... Look at that, is that not a bitchin' jacket? Nice. Um, rogue's gloves. Oh, this is actually increasing my equip weight, though. Except the boots, which are actually less. Huh. Pretty sweet. I don't think I'm gonna have that. Boots are... Yeah, can I can I fast roll? No, I can't. Yeah. Although that is actually heavier. Wow. All right, today we shall be cosplaying as the legendary and terrifying topless ninja. How about you? I am loving that combo attack. Okay. Ah, wait, no, no. I recognize you. You're going to be the boss area. Okay. Because I think there was somewhere else I could go more over this way. Whoa, whoa, rats! Oh, what are you? A pet <laughs> oh, great! I've got potatoes! 
Ah, birds, birds. They, I, I would, I knew it. They're fucking following you through the door. All right then. Uh, okay. What are you, grenados? Ah, my friends, my beautiful grenados. How I've missed you so. I do not remember what the obelisk does. Can I put my metal icon at it? I'm metal as fuck, bro. No? Okay. All right then. Shall we? The Sodding Knight. I'm sorry, the Sodden Knight. Oh, you're... Ow, ow, okay, spoke too soon, spoke too soon. Yeah, but, ow. Okay, okay, yep, yeah, sorry. I can't tell if I killed you or you killed... Okay, <laughs> I killed you. I thought he killed me for a moment there, bloody hell. I really... Like, I know I boasted at the start, but I really don't understand that fight, just in general, because he starts to combo together attacks that are nearly seemingly impossible to dodge. Like, he just does the ground pound, which you need to jump over, fine. But then as soon as you've jumped, he does a jumping attack, which means that he will then collide with you in midair and hit you. And then usually wombo combo lock you. It's a bit of a confusing fight overall. I just died from fucking fall damage. What the, what the hell is that? Ah. This is a being of pure salt. Okay. Hearty roll. Hold on a minute. If I eat a hearty roll and then go back here. Oh, hearty rolls are like Estus things. Oh, I could have need. I could have used her hearing about that last time, couldn't I? Bloody hell. All right. So the sodden knight is finally sodding dead. Thanks to my trusted pitchfork. Oh, I need to learn to block. Right. Okay. What's down here then? Because I don't recall having gone down here. No, wait. No, I don't. No, I don't. Yep. 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 Been there. Been there. Down here? Anything interesting? No. Righty though. Then that means the only way to go would be over here. Through the door. Ready to join me on a fabulous new adventure? Welcome to Mr. Boring Plays Sultan Sanctuary. Uh, hi. Who are you? Greetings, traveler. Do you have a quest? Um... Yes? Rescuing a princess? Hmm. I haven't seen any princesses. Don't lose hope, friend. Anyway, it's good to have a quest. Would you like to know what my quest is? No. Excellent. My- Oh, oh, oh. Very well. Uh, be on your way. Greetings, traveler. Yes, yes, okay, fine, fine. I'll listen to you. What do you want? Yes, I want to know what your quest is, bro. Excellent. My quest is to invade the castle to the east, defeat its guardians, and slay the dragon. I like you. You've got a spear like me. Castles must be invaded, and dragons must be slain, mustn't they? I suppose. Can I stab you? No? Oh? What if I... No? Oh, fair enough. What are you? Uh, Black Pearl. Ooh! And you are... Woodsman's Axe, some cotton trousers. Very nice. Always nice to have good trousers. Ow! Okay! Was not expecting that fall. With that, well, there's bats in here somewhere, so I will just boldly stab at the darkness until they fall over. Self bow. As in, what? I just fire myself at them? A simple go. Bow cover. I don't know why it's called the self bow. What's even deeper in this place then? Ooh, uh. Soldier's Spear. Ooh! Right, okay, so we've got a pitchfork that does 6 to 16 with S scaling, or what are you? Soldier's Spear does 12 to 19 with C scaling. Ooh. And an E. And it's lighter. It's got a higher minimum damage. It just seems to be better overall, to be honest. 
Okay, hey. Does that mean I can finally put this on? No, don't think so. Aha, uh -huh, we're learning. That's eating a hearty roll. I thought that was attacking. Whoops. And another bloody obelisk. What are you? You obelisks are tormenting me. Stop. Apologies, by the way, for the slightly thin on the ground commentary. As I said, I'm, I'm a bit ill, so one's not exactly feeling up to... Oh, hello, there's a person here. Hi. What, what just happened to your eyes? Something weird happened. Oh, wait, no, 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 it's just the art style. Okay, ooh, yeah, that, that thing, that, yes, that just happened, and it confuses me. Hello, friend. Trinkets to sell, trinkets for coin. Bye. Would you like a lock of hair, sir, or perhaps an endless fang? A fang left behind by a vanquished beast, its lifespan must somehow reach back to the ancient things far beyond that of its owner. Lock of soldier's hair. Its memories can be used to up by a blacksmith to upgrade weapons. Ooh. What is the point of the endless fang, exactly? There isn't going to be an explanation, is there? I think I should buy a torch. I really feel like I should buy a torch. Yes, I will purchase a torch. Flame bolt, crossbow bolts, stained page from an unholy tome. Apply it to your weapon and add arcane damage. Oh... Okay. Crush its brittle pages in a holy place to expunge its sacred light. Okay. Doppelsoldner. Is that like a clone of me I'm going to fight at some point? A doppel soldier, maybe? God's bless. Actually, no, no, no. Wait, I have to, I have to talk to you. Who the fuck are you? Friend. I'm so happy you came along. I've gathered things, trinkets, trinkets and such. Trinkets for gold, that's what I've got. Trinkets for coin. Uh, I'm leaving. Bye. God's bless. Yeah, okie day. Another bloody locked door, damn it. Also, really credit to this guy being able to roll upstairs. What the heck is that? I see things hanging. Oh, it's moving. I don't like it. I can't see. It's dark. Ah! Okay. What the? F what the hell are you? Come out of the... Oh, my God. It's a bladed praying mantis man. With chains for arms? Right. Well, Salton Sanctuary has already possibly overtaken much of Dark Souls in its fucked up enemy design. Let's have at you. Come on. Poke at you with a stick. Nah. Nah. <laughs> you weren't expecting me to poke you with a stick now, were you? Nobody expects the pointy stick. You're all trained to be fighting bananas and shit. Platforming. Ah! Okay. There's a bird there. And there's a bird there. Fuck off. Back off, birds. Skull bat wing. Oh, they're skull bats, not skull birds. I just feel like I'm descending further into hell. I don't really... Oh, there's an endless fang. Fair enough. Clearly don't have to buy them from the merchant then. Is this area... <laughs> Village of Smiles. Well, that just sounds fucking marvellous. Let's have a ding, ding dong ding. Ow! Okay. Okay. I was about to ask for let's have a ding dong doozy of a time and then you had to go and bloody ruin it, didn't you? Ruddy marvellous. Oh, that's right. You better run away. Uh, okay, okay. I thought you were trying to run away. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I should not have insulted you. Clearly, that was a bad move. My bad, bro. Just, just let me leave. Okay. We're going to ambush them as they come through the door. Whoop! Okay, okay. We're just running away. We're just running away. <laughs> it's not worth it. I need to eat some hearty rolls and feel better. <laughs> I'm just comfort eating. Okay. Where are you bastards gone then? Come on. Come on up. up, up. <laughs> I, I, I feel like threatening to poke them with a long stick is not much of a threat, realistically. 
Nee. What is this? A skull samurai? Skull. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, skull legionnaire. Well, that's what we're going with for today. Red shard, red shard, red shard. Poke him. Poke him again. What? What? It All right. That's the thing I can do. Apparently, the glory kills from Doom have made their way into the game. You guys look. Hold the balls up. You guys are the guys from the tutorial screen. Like the guys I could have played as the other classes. Jesus. Okay. We're going to need another red shard. Okay. We're going to slowly creep our way in. That's better. Do the spear block scuttle. Oh, yeah. Oh, the ladies love the spear block scuttle. Scuttle, 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 scuttle. Yeah! Ow. Don't shoot me in the head. Oh, ah, okay. Okay, then. I keep expecting that if I poke them in the head with a big stick that they'll kind of react, but that doesn't happen. I feel I may have to rethink my strategy somewhat. This was the way I went, yeah? I'm starting to feel it. What? No, no, no. I never saw no bandits pass. Oh, my pitchfork. <laughs> Always good to have a second pitchfork. That's what I always say. Bats, 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 skull bats. Oh, it's you again. Forgot about you. Do I have anything I could... What's a Birian fire pot? Yeah. Oh. Birian fire pot is awesome. Blade wraith rib. It fucking excuse me. What? Oh, I can't like use it as a weapon then. It's transmutation material. Okay. Slowly but surely learning the controls. Village of Smiles out again. Can't believe I saw the same bloody thing again. Hello, wolves. Just give me a second for my health to regen. While we're at it, have some fire. Oh, I like these things. They're like the Grandados that I completely bloody wasted last time. Where'd that dude go? There was a dude I fought back here. Okay, have a fire pot. I missed. Oh, that's just fabulous. Oh, that's just cocking marvellous. Yeah. Ow, 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 ow. I need to stop trying to do that. The diving attack is not as good as I think it is. Oh, I just kept missing. Fair. Ah! You, you, your axe has a bit more vertical range than I thought it did. Scuttle, 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 scuttle. Ha ha! Nobody expects to be assaulted in the butt with a long weapon. Ha ha! Yep. Ah. Wait, what? Can I jump off here into the... Wait a minute. Yep. Ah! Oh, there's a... There's a... Beep, beep, there's a thing. Ow! And another... There's a guy. I can't see very much. Alrighty. Okay. Starting to get a little bit tired of your bullshit game. What's through here then? Vine mesh... Peltarian. That sounds like a D&D &D character. I'm, I'm just being honest. That Vine Mesh Peltarian sounds like a D&D &D character. Oh, you again. I recognise you from earlier. You're that comboing git. Yes, there you are. Okay, I'm not fighting you today. Nope, 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 nope. Run away. Ow, bell of return. I don't know what that does. Stab it. Okay. Plunging attack is good. Note to self. I'll be honest, I'm just like randomly surviving out here. I don't really know where I'm going or much of anything, to be honest. Can't do the Y attack in midair. Keep forgetting that bit. Okay. Back in the oh-so-quaintly named Village of Smiles. Curiosity. Ow! I'm in a... What? I don't know what to... Let me... Safe. I thought I was safe because I was at. <laughs> oh god. Back with you in a moment. <laughs> what? And when it kneels, it will kneel not in acquiescence, but in the darkest despair it will ever know. I have no idea what that was about. But I am worried. 
My trousers are much more brown than they started off with. I do love, though, I have to say, how this game already has, like, a whole world. It's got religions and lore and shit. It's... you got to give it a hell of a lot of credit for that. It could have just been a uh, survive this dungeon crawlish type, but it's evolved into something a lot more. That's cool. <laughs> I tricked you this time, didn't I? Thought you made, made you think that I'd forgotten about you. No, sir. I was ready for you. Oh. The thing I was interacting with is gone. Okay. Why do I feel that since I pressed yes on whatever option it was uh, offering me, that I've agreed to something I really wouldn't like to, considering what the hell happened with, uh, when I died? Where'd that wolf end up going, anyway? Ugh! What? Just killed him? Oh, there's a trap of some form. Okay. So, somewhere around here is a wolf that's got my bloody salt. There you are. Right then, you've been causing me a lot of bother. Here! Okay, that did not work. Need to remember that that does not have any range. Let me go! Eh. Eh. Ow, 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 ow. Eh. Eh. All right. Okay. This is not going very well. Poke him, poke him. This was not a game to play while I was ill. It's just depressing. Where's this go? Oh, yeah, I remember you. I'm not going anywhere near you yet. Um, over here? Uh, I don't like platforming! Fused metal ring. What are you? How? Good question. Um, I ask that a lot in my life. What? what? Increases endurance. Well, definitely we're wearing that. What are you? Beware. Oh, I'm bewaring. Just not sure what to beware of. Grey Pearl. As different from the Black Pearl. Capital ship of Captain Jack Sparrow. Ghostly Gourd. Ghastly Gourd. Whoa, 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 there's dudes. Ow, they're throwing blood at me. Oh, no, 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 you don't. No, you take that darkest dungeon stuff away from me now. I will not have your tempting today. I, am I bleeding or am I just dripping blood? No, I'm just dripping blood. Okay, time to stab them. See, at least you guys react to me attacking you. I like you. I'm gonna... What the fuck? I don't know what happened there. Yeah. Okay. It's almost like the game's trying to censor me killing them. Ow. What are these? Just keep poking them. There we go. Okay, what's what what's is there a door here? Is there something I can interact with? Well that's just bloody weird. What's the ghastly gourd? Was it worth it? Is my biggest question, I suppose. Show me your ghastly gourd. Carved gourd. Its flesh has been sealed into a thick arcane fabric, rendering it effective. If curious, piece of armor. The Mad Queen Lan Lenaya was as bloodthirsty as she was eccentric, and one of her better known peculiarities was her mortal fear of gourds. Seriously? Oh, I'm gonna put that on my head then. <laughs> I pressed RB to roll. I'm an idiot. I think I'm gonna need to take my gloves off though. I'm still not the right weight? Bloody hell. This is a heavy gourd. Okay. I refuse to give up on this fast rolling, by the way, because otherwise I think I'm boned. We already looked eccentric enough as an adventurer. Now we are literally a man in his pants wearing a pumpkin on his head, running around town with a spear, fighting ghosts that may or may not be present in pursuit of table salt. Because this is definitely what you expect on a Monday morning. Right, okay. Come on. I'm going to keep going until I fight. Who I'm going to keep going until I find something interesting, I was going to say. Thanks for that. Really appreciate that game. I'm just going to use the last of my healing items. No, it's fine. It's fine. 
you want me to use my pouches of salt while I'm here? Skull bats. I don't trust them. Fuck off. Fuck off. Oh, it's another of those bastards with a big stick. Nyeh. Okay, day. Alrighty. Uh, Again? I now see why this is called Salt and Sanctuary. I really do. It's fucking marvelous, isn't it? Oh, it's just... Oh, it's just gorgeous. Well, I say this looks like a job for me, so every monster just follow me, because we need a little catastrophe, and YouTube's so empty without me. Yeah, that's right. I didn't actually have to come this way, but I, I just want revenge on these guys. That might not have been the best idea, now I think about it. I'm leaving. Bye. <sighs> okay. So, I will be the first one to admit that one of the flingy, spiky traps might have killed me on the way to get my salt. And thus, I might have lost 7,000 salt. But we're not going to talk about that today. Instead, I'm going to use these pouches of salt. I'm going to use the rest of these pouches of salt. And then we're going to end the episode. Thank you very much for watching. And cue the end card. Go. Now. Now. Thank you very much for watching, audience. I have been the over-Englishman. Please take a moment to peruse the end card at your leisure. We have a video, a video, a link to the channel, and a link to a channel that I think you might like. Until then, I will see you in the next video. Love you all, and farewell.